Right, done it. Jess T on the end of the that in there, that'll come in handy if I have trouble with the lipo and it pops, so I can always put that back in. I'm not going to butcher it, nah, it's just there for the backup, so there's the backup. Uh, this stuff you can see here is going to be the padding I use. I was giving this to me from a friend who does upholstery. So, I'll be cutting this to size to fit in the tray. And there you go. There's a light just sitting in there loosely for now. Don't give me idiot fucking messages going, he'll blow your back seat. Well, I don't even think I know that. The job isn't finished yet. Right. There you go. Works fine. And it's lighted as well. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um, but there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. And I'll speak to you soon. Hello, welcome back. Right, I've done it. Um, bit of an idea to come up with before, but let's see if I can get this in first. Right, as you know, that's where the battery tray goes. And I actually rigged um, the foam to the actual battery. Uh, I know people say that it can cause it to overheat, but it's not going to be doing it. Yet. And it's on, as you can hear, Velcro. There you go. Yep. It's in Velcro and it's all padded and sits in there quite well, as you can see, I wouldn't have done that otherwise. And literally, yeah, I'm quite made up with the actual idea that Stray 66 and other people have seen on here do. But I've also rigged something else up which I can't show you because it's hidden inside the mic. I've actually got a bleeper in there on the um, on the link cable for the lipo because I'm worried if it runs out of power it starts flashing. I don't know what the cutoff point is. There you go, fuck off. Right. There you go. So now, no more stupid bleeding eight point batteries all the time. And I tell you what, it seems to be a lot brighter now. So there you go. Um, Hope you like it, I do, and as you would say in the world, that's it, and if you're wondering what that is, that's my new rush motor, isn't that amazing, 15 turn that is, that's going on a new car, hmm, the Grim Reaper, I wonder who that is, anyway, and no, by the way, there's a 10 turn in that one, or oh, did I take it out and put the other one in, just a minute, no, it's a 19 turn, it's a 19 turn special that one. And the air on, it's still looking well isn't it? That was some of my artwork that I did when, I'm quite good with, with rattle cans and yeah, with air brushing but I need to be ambidextrous, as they would say in the trade. Um, so, there you go. And also, I've actually done, I've actually got the motor in there now, the modified motor. I was going to take it out for a little run today, but the wind is that hectic, and I only took it around the corner and it started losing its idea of driving. So, and also that's getting a new shell. I was going to put the shell on this, but that's staying as it is because I'm not being funny, but it is a, a really, really good car to mess around with and it drifts really well. I need to get this up and running because it's been standing so long. Um, I've had a fella in Japan offer me some money for it because he's a big fan of this um, Sega game and he likes what I've done. But he only wants a shell, he doesn't want the car, which is bizarre. Um, but yeah, I uh, also, I don't know if I showed you this, but I just put him up here. I'll show you something now. These actually came, these came off an RC car. The same that, these are the tyres, these are the drift wheels that got off pull. As you can see, they're not, they're not. I don't know, you know, 
I see. Right. Literally, I've put tyres on mine. See? Oh, you didn't see. Anyway, I've got size on it. Bloody fed up with a bloody scoop on that. Um, they work. They do what they say in the tin. Um, very, 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 very grippy now. But the only problem I've got is I need more body mounts. I need to get some more. This really weighs nothing. This because it's all. Um, it's all aluminium inside. Everything's alley on it, just needs a bit of TLC today. And the exhaust on the back, as you can see. Um, well, that's about it, really. I'm not going to be doing much to this one because, I a, what did I say to my cousin Terry? I said that I actually got to the maximum with this. The only thing I want to do is put an uh, aluminium drive shaft in and a manta ray diff. That's all I want to put on in. Um, but I'll wait to get one. So they're the wheels and the way to get them off is to cut them, split them and you put a tire over them but it does take a bit of know how to put them on. I actually went off cold believe it or not because I was never good at the tire altering but he'd done a really good job. And oh look what I've got! A very rare hawk shell. I've got that one and I've got the I think it's a stampede shell I don't know. Yeah. Stampede or rough size stampede anyway. Um I'm having a few issues with Unimog. Something's happened overnight. I don't know what it is, but it's working, that's amazing, but not if we do that. We still got it going. <laughs> Thanks to bloody eight sided circle for them. Um Goliath. Mmm. Fella made me a nice offer for this the other day. And it's because I wanna now get into the big 18 scene and upwards. Um I said no because I was happy with that. So the gentleman wants to buy a few things off me and he's got quite a lot of money and at the end of the day I've got my own car to think about. Yes, there's a zombie hunter, he's just waiting for his day. It should be very shortly. Um, also, by the way, if you're interested in and you live local, I'll be doing a bash at Delamere Forest in in um, in Eastham and Fragum area, uh, Merseyside area. And if you want to come along, just feel free. Bring your buggies, and I'll give you the date. I'll do a video when you're doing. We're just just meeting up, go for a bit of a blast. If you've got crawlers, you can just walk around and crawl around. Or if you've got little speed trucks, I know a place you can take it there. There's a lot of dips, a lot of dives. Um, I've had to go and buy some hiking boots because it's that bad. Uh, but literally, I think they'll love it. And any crawler fans out there. If you want to come along, just feel free, um, but I'll do a video on it. So, cheers! Zooming on me finger! Oh, for Christ's sake. See what I mean? It's got a very lazy focus. That's the only thing I don't like about this. But if you zoom it in like that... See? Never mind. Anyway, take care, everybody.